Well, many of us have broken a bone. Maybe it happened when you were a child on the playground or not so long ago in an accident. Well, 6 News anchor Lori Tucker just found out what it's really like. Covering Medicine Tonight, Lori goes on your side to help anyone battling a broken bone heal as quickly as possible. You know, I wish I had a more glamorous story to tell. I actually broke my ankle uh, while on assignment out of state on a buckled sidewalk. I put it on Facebook just to let you know what was going on. And so many of you responded with your own broken bone stories. It prompted me to find out what we all need to do to get back on our feet as quickly as we can. We came to Tennessee Orthopedic Clinics for a quick visit with Dr. Chris Hi, Shaver. Lauren, good to see you. Good to see you too. Well, doctor, thank you for talking with us today. Number one question, what's the most important thing we can do to help in the healing process? If we tell you to stay off of it, you should stay off of it. If you're a smoker, smoking will kill healing fractures. Um, keeping your diabetes under control, Things like that can be, be great assistance in healing these fractures. I've heard that broccoli for vitamin K, milk uh, for calcium, obviously, yogurt, those are really good things. Are, are those enough? They are. They all include uh, nutrients that will go into the bone healing process. But really, if you'll take a multivitamin um, and then calcium with vitamin D, um, those things can be obtained through that. Uh, and you won't have to change your diet or anything. What about osteoporosis drugs? Can they help? Drugs for osteoporosis can help minimize the chance of fracture, but they're not going to help a fracture to heal because they actually... Uh, stop the healing process somewhat once a fracture has occurred. Here is the takeaway. Here are the most important questions to ask your doctor. When can I start putting weight on my broken bone? How long will I be off work? Is there any reason I won't do well? And if I have to have surgery, what are the risks? Now, crutches are not your only option, although I do use those in some situations. This knee scooter has been an absolute lifesaver. My doctor recommended it. It costs as little as $20 to rent each week. Plus, it's kind of fun. Covering medicine on your side, Lori Tucker, 6 News.